Hello and welcome to today's video. And got another box from Stitch Fix. Yes, I have box number four. If you're not familiar with Stitch Fix, it is a subscription box where you pay a $20 styling fee. If you purchase something from the box, then the styling fee is credited towards your purchase. If you do not purchase anything, then you forfeit your $20 towards their styling cost. A nice thing about them is they provide free shipping not only to you, but for your return to them. And you get a nice paper that describes the items. You get a note from your stylist. And my stylist all along has been Tara. I've been very pleased with all of her hard work. For this particular box, I was sent an email prior to the box where I could say yay or nay to what they were thinking of sending me. And then they would substitute something else from my list of likes that I had picked on their app. They have an app. Oh, and it is a fun one where you can go through and indicate your preferences of items that you like, and that helps the styling process go better, thus increasing the likelihood that you will get what you want and you will purchase it. And in this box, Tara writes that uh, she sent me the backpack that I was interested in, two pairs of shoes that I had shown an interest in, and a top and a pair of jeans that I had indicated a preference towards during one of my uh, look-throughs on their app. So, with all of that yakety yak being done, let's see what you got. First up is from Campsite, the Natalia Quilted Nylon Backpack. This is something I had my eye on because I need to replace a backpack that has well disintegrated. Yeah, I had it that long, it's disintegrated. So I picked this one. One thing to note is this is a sale item. So we'll have to see if they give a sale price or do they charge me full price if I decide to buy it. Oh, that would be interesting. I hope you get the sale price. So, um, it's a nylon backpack, so it can be wiped clean. I like that concept. It has some good outer and inner pockets. The outer pockets are not big enough to hold a water bottle, but it could be someplace where you could stick a hand sanitizer, some tissues, a small item inside there are three pockets. One has a zipper and then two are smaller pouches. So I like the fact that they give some holding area inside rather than just everything gets dumped in and all mixed up. It has a drawstring closure as well as a magnetic closure. Oh, that is very nice. I want one. I'll see what I can do. Next up is a pair of Skechers in the shade black. And on their website, it was difficult for me to realize how chunky of a heel these had because it's a white heel and the background of the picture was white. Yet, they were kind enough to send me two pairs of Skechers in this box so that I could compare them to each other because they were ones that I liked both of them. I might purchase both of them. I might not, but they were kind enough to send both of them. So this black pair, the sole is higher and chunkier than what I thought it was going to be. So when I put them on, I do admit, I kind of felt like I was wearing, well, as the old saying goes, clod hoppers. 
I don't know if the younger folk know what that means. Um, what else can I tell you about these? Oh, the tongue area. They don't have a separate tongue. This is all one piece adhered together. I find that to be a bit uncomfortable. The second pair of Skechers is another Arch Fit Comfy Wave sneaker. And they don't have memory foam in these. I was hoping they would, but it seems like Skechers has moved away from that. This though does have a nice arch support or arch fit as they call it. And both of these shoes are size eight and it did come with gray laces in addition to the salmony peachy pink. So you get a variety. And I found these to be much more comfortable than the other ones. These have a proper tongue to the shoe, which allows me to adjust things more to the liking of my feet. Next is a top from Market and Spruce. This is the Lilo button down tie front woven top. It is something that I had marked on my likes list on their app. So they were kind enough to send it to me. It is a size medium. I like the print. It goes with white shorts or white pants. It goes with some jeans that I have. It goes pretty well with a pair of pants or jeans that I bought from them earlier. It does not go with the pants that I got in box number one, but that's okay. So this is a good contender for the purchase department. And then from Liverpool, we have the Elizabeth Super Skinny Jeans. These were also something that I had picked on their app. I did not realize how skinny, super skinny meant. These are a size 12. And I have to say of all the pant items that they have sent me, this is the first one that did not fit. It was definitely more high waisted than I had realized. It is a pull on denim pant. It is not a traditional zip it up and then button at the top. And um, well, either I've gained a little bit or boy, I am not as skinny as I thought I was. I got into them. I wasn't sure I was gonna get out of them. I thought I was gonna have to start chewing on the jeans to go get her out. She was gonna be stuck. These were too tight, not only in the waist area, they were also too tight around my legs, especially around my calf area. So the nylon backpack was originally $58, but it is currently on sale for $34.97, and they are offering it to me at the sale price. The Arch Fit Comfy Wave sneaker in light gray is $88. The Arch Fit Infinity sneaker in black is also $88. The Super Skinny jeans, size 12, $78. And the Market and Spruce button down tie front top in medium, $42. So, taking all of that as a total, the total for the box was $330.97. Now, if you buy all five items in your box, 
you get a 25% discount, which in this case would be $82.74. That would then bring my order subtotal down to $248.23. You remove the $20 styling fee because you're purchasing things, the shipping is free. So if I bought the entire box, it would be $228.33. I don't think trying to size up on the jeans would help the situation because that is an option. You can try sizing up on something. I honestly don't think sizing up would help the situation any. It's just it, that one didn't work out. So I know for the future that super skinny jeans from Stitch Fix it's just not going to work out. Another nice thing about Stitch Fix is they let you extend the date of your Vox return. Yes, normally you get the box and you have three days to return it. And the day you get it counts as day number one. You can go on their app, go to where it says check out. Don't check out. You can scroll scroll to the bottom and you can extend it anywhere from, I've seen the options for three more days to up to two weeks. I usually extend it out about a week just to give myself a little time to maybe think about an item if I'm on the fence about it, that type of thing. So my final decision was that I got the backpack especially since they gave it to me at the sale price. I wasn't going to pass that up. I got the gray Skechers sneakers and I did get the blouse or the top. The black Skechers, they just did not work out, especially they, they didn't have an actual tongue and that just made them uncomfortable but I am glad and very appreciative that they were willing to send both pairs so that I could compare them in the same try-on box. So I've got the backpack, the Skechers, and the blue top. That gives me a total of $164.97. I get $20 credited towards the purchase. So that brings me down to $144.97. The shipping, as I said before, is free. I will have to pay sales tax. You can't get away from sales tax. No, you can't. Leave us a comment below. What do you think about these items? Would you wear any of them? I'm nosy, I want to know. Thanks for watching today. Comment, like, subscribe, notification bell, that whole routine. We've got some fun stuff going on and we do hope to see you again in another video. Thanks for watching.